everyone. Welcome to our channel, Lake Lot Build. Thanks for joining us today. I am now going to install the electrical panel on the wall. So for us to do that, I'm going to have to scoot back a little bit here. I'm going to have to cut out the styrofoam, of course, so that we can mount it against the concrete, which is right there. And so I've taken my little template that I cut off the box. And this is my template right here, which is nice. I'm going to be using Homeline, which is a square D right there. And I'll just let you guys look what the panel looks like. So let's zoom in here so you can see the little pieces that are left behind. So I'll have to get my grinder and grind those smooth because I want that panel to fit nice and flush, nice and smooth in there. So David said the little trick was to use a chainsaw, just a cheap electric chainsaw because the blade's going to get ruined because you're getting hit in concrete with it. So that is what I did. Zoom up. Oh, she looks beautiful. Okay, so I have got this ground smooth. I got my grinder and ground all the plastic smooth. I have test fitted it. The uh, panel fits in there just fine. I went ahead and marked my holes. Uh, I didn't film any of that because that's pretty much, you know, just standard construction. So I didn't think that was probably that important. But now I'm going to use my hammer drill and we're going to drill the holes for the tap cons so that I can mount this panel. So, let's get started. and just like that my panels in so I'll zoom in I use the tap cons up here I was able to use the hanger part of it to hang it on but down here it was the opposite so I had to put some washers in there to hold it but oh, she's solid she's super solid so I'll put the door on it for now what I'll do is my uh, primary will come in right here and I'll go down this wall right here and go in that hole right there. If I were to do it again, now that I know, I have the Fox block, I have all that plastic, so I might have to grind that out. But if I would have done it again, I would have scooted over just ever so slightly to get it out of that way. But with that being said, code, I need 30 inches of room for that door to swing open in any work. And I'm just afraid I was gonna get too close into my radiant floor heating or this way too close to the door 
with the door trim. So I wanted to make sure that I was in the right spot. So overall, I feel very happy. It looks pretty good.